I'm going to show you how to make one of these activities with listening aspects to it. Um, so how this is, well, how this works is students will listen to the little clip and then they can practice writing down their numbers. Now this could be for maths, you could do it for spelling, you could do it for uh, letters and sounds and all you need to do is to create these little clips here in the activity. Let me just turn it up and see if it'll work. Oh, it's not really working in this preview. Anyways, I will show you how to make your own and uh, then you can use it for multi-purposes in your classroom. So I'm just going to create a copy and edit of this one. Um, and I'm going to edit the template just to show you how it is, how it looks. So this um, background is created with shapes um, using the shapes tool here and they are layered on top of each other. These ones I will not need because I'm going to be replacing them with new recordings. So I'm just unlocking these and deleting them because I don't need these ones. So for this one, I am going to do some letters. So down the side here, I need to be able to create another page here. And this is the page that I use for my recording. And I'm going to come over to Speaker Clipper and I'm going to find a speaker like this. I'm going to copy the image. I'm going to paste it on here. And this is what the recording will be on top of. So then you need to think about what you want to have recorded. So um, letters, like I said, so I'm going to say a letter and students on this one here would write the letter down next to it. So I'm going to click on the microphone here. Write down the letter T. And you click done and it will then convert that to a video and you can see it's a video because it's got a play button there so I'm going to copy this I've on my um, keyboard I'm pushing command C to copy it and then I'm going to come up to the top template paste it and it's going to paste the same video that I just had resize it and let's just check it For some reason, it's not playing for me. That is okay. That could be because I am video recording on top of a video. That's okay. Uh, it does work. I do assure you it does work. Um, for some reason, always in tutorials, it doesn't seem to do what you want. Um, and then what you would do is come back to this page here. And you just simply push delete or backspace and it will take that recording away and then you can film your next one. So I'm going to start my next one. Write down the letter M. I'm going to click done. I'm going to copy that, paste it in here and then resize it to make it match. And you can do the same for six different ones. You, when you're finished, so let's just pretend that looks really great, I'm going to click on the tick. And I'm then going to change my instructions to match the activity. Um, did want to say though, right at the very end, um, before you uh, tick it to confirm that that's your template, you do need to delete this one off because you don't want kids to be able to see that that's your working space. Um, and then when you push the tick, they will only have access to that page's worth of activities in their learning.